yawning up. That's it. Take your time with that stretch. Let your body unwind as your thoughts unwind. Yeah. Now hold on to your wrist and your foot goes down. Ooh. And the other side. <laughs> I make such noises when I do this. So let that escape of air happen. Let the breath go. And then bring the arms down, feet hip distance, and just roll the shoulders up, back and down. Get a sense of yourself, plant your feet in the ground, in the floor, soft at the knees, tight in the abdominal, ribs down, shoulders back, and the hands drop by your side. Good, let's start with our legs wide. Bend your knees, just check your knees going over your toes. And bring your hands onto your thighs as you just once again think about your posture. Your chest up, your spine really long. Imagine that you've got that breath of fresh air running up your spine, helping you to stay really long. So the tailbone tucks under. Add in the arms, lift the arms all the way up. And then sweep down, keeping your chest up. Do it again, arms all the way up, breathe in. And all the way down. So as always, we're looking for long length all the way through the body. And then sweep and pull the shoulder blades down your back. Keep going, breathe in. And sweep down, that's wonderful. Two more of those, set the scene, set the breath, set the pace. Hands to hips and shift, side, centre, side. So there's a tiny little pause in the middle, not much, but make sure you come into the middle and then shift. How does that feel for the knees? How does that sound like for the ankles? <laughs> Can hear mine crunching away, mobilising away. And keeping yourself upright initially, level one. And then beginning to tip forward, so it looks like this. I'm going to come, oh, oh, my legs, over to one side. Now centre. Take your time over to the other side. I don't want you to feel dizzy. And climb up. So this is level two. I'm going forward. My body is to you, not to my thigh. Forward. So it's uneven. My leg pushes out whilst the other leg straightens. But my body is centred. Ears, shoulders, hips, and you're exploring your inner thigh, as you will discover tomorrow. <laughs> Tell you how I know, because I'm feeling it today. So it's a lovely wide leg, exploratory move, and I lift up in the middle to give myself a breather and take the strain off of my lower back. So climb up, breathe in and then go over. Thank you. Add in arms, hands to shoulders, sky. Hands to shoulders, to you. Hands to shoulder, sky. Hands to shoulders, to you. Okay? Arms up, arms forward. And again, you're looking for that beautiful long line as much as you can. The long line to the sky and the long line forward. So the head, arms, shoulders and hips line up. Just give me two more. Breathe in and a long breath out. Breathe in, high and a long breath out. One more, both sides. Breathe in, those legs should be feeling very warm. And the other side. Hands to shoulders, hands over. So go back to the upright posture and flush out those legs. Slightly different. I'm going to come into the middle, arms to sky. Shift over, arms out to the side and tip forward, palms down. Middle, arms to sky. Shift your weight into the other leg, tip forward, palms down, good. I'm fastidious about where your hands go, fingers over shoulders, hands in line with shoulders, straight line. Work effectively in your upper back. 
you know you're feeling it, if you can give that shoulder blade a little squeeze, move slow, move strong. Breathe in, fill up with the fresh air. Last one. Good. And the other side. So find your recovery. Could be a shoulder roll, could be a leg kick. Find your recovery and pick up your hand weights. And begin with your hands just on your hips or on your thighs and shift side to side. That's lovely, good work. So you're just shifting, check out the knee again. Knee over toes, good, like in the cans there. <laughs> That's brilliant. And then come into the middle, arms up, palms turn in, shift, tip, arms to me. Whoa, feel that power. Hands to shoulders, middle, arms up, other side, bend the knee, arms to me. Four more, centre, breathe in, take your time, exhale, long breath out inhale center good work other side push forward three more sky shift forward to me integrity keep the integrity in the moves shift bum pushes back arms push forward eye gaze on the sky and eye gaze on the floor eye gaze Sky, breathe out, push. One more, because I love it. Your arms will love it, your legs will love it, your spine, long length in the spine, all strengthening work. So flush out, put your hands on your hips or your thighs, flush out the work in your legs by moving. And then the other one that we did, you remember, Come into the middle, breathe out, shift, palms down, eye gaze to the floor. Into the middle, breathe out, shift, arms to the side, eyes to the floor. So there's a breath out here, there's a transitional breath in, there's a breath out here, transitional breath in so it really slows you down and the beauty of that is that you maintain the work in the muscle so go slow and give me last three side center and lift other side center and breathe two more and you're finished look at the floor Arms to the side, I know it's strong, but you're doing well. Add in the breathing, it helps with the focus. One last one, breathe out, inhale, transition. Exhale, inhale, transition. Good, long breaths. One to finish in the middle, let the breath go. Well done. <laughs> Hands to legs, fantastic. Flush out those thighs. And then if your feet can move, mine are really grounded into the floor. If your feet can move, <laughs> I've got imprints on my mat. Shake out your feet. I'm going to leave my hands by my side and it gives you that plumb line. As I go into a parallel squat, the plumb line, my hands drop to the side of my knee. Keep your chest up. So often I'll see people really hinge at the hip, so they almost do a 90 degree. It's more like, well I want to say concertina effect. It's, it's an even angle at the knee and the hip, i.e. your chest stays up. Look forward, not down. Look forward. And the hands by your side give you that plumb line. So I'm going to hands to shoulders, arms in the air, and then hands to shoulders, but then move the arms out so it looks like this. Good. Elbows in line, and then tip forward. Okay, keep the chest high. 
shoulders sky shoulders out bend the knees chest higher than you think good shoulders sky shoulders out and tip forward so really good integrity whole body length hinge from the hip bend at the knee squeeze the shoulder blades i'm going to keep going these are big muscle groups arms upper back quads glutes they need overload hate to say it but they need overload arms out keep those elbows high well done keep those elbows in line with shoulders so let's see it again elbows high yes palms face forward elbows in up elbows down out yes tip and two more so I'll give you a side profile up i'm still watching <laughs> elbows out tip so my chest is high my shoulder blades are squeezing elbows in and up last one do you fancy doing it on your toes should we have a go should we play up on your toes oh my word bend your knees and then up can't talk, can't talk, got to concentrate. <laughs> Four more. On your toes. It's a bit too hot for this type of work, Adele. I know, elbows wide, tip forward. But we've started, so we'll finish. Where did that catchphrase come from? I've started, so we'll finish. Elbows out. Two more. I can't see your toes, I'm going to be honest, so you can cheat. And one last one, up to the sky. Good, elbows out. Okay, we're done. We are done, done, done. Shake out the legs, roll out the shoulders. Bring your hand weights to the floor, but do it Pilates style. Bend your knees. Put your hand weights on the floor. Let the arms recover. Round one way, let the head drop. And round the other. Hands on the floor, bend and straighten the hamstrings, let the head drop, and then cross one foot over the other, oh, and just hang out. So all I've done is I've crossed at the ankle, good, and then drop, hang out. So lower back and hamstrings, unhook your legs and go the other way, so the other ankle goes across. How far down can you go? How much can you drop down? And then unhook, bend your knees and slowly come up to standing. So something we did last week is we brought our hands behind the back of our head. Squeeze your bum, lift your chest and look up. Again, I'm looking for the blue space. Inhale center, bend your knees, chin to chest and lower down. So it's a great way to release after the work you've just done. Bend as low as you can and straighten your legs. Bend your knees and climb up to standing. Inhale at the top, take your time, don't need to feel dizzy. Squeeze your bum and look up. Open those elbows wide. Up, bend your knees and tip. Lower to the floor. Straighten your legs. Bend your knees, all at your own pace, all at your own rhythm. Inhale, full height, we'll just do one last one. Open your chest. So, bend your knees, tip forward, all the way down, all the way up. Drop at the bottom, straighten your legs. Feel that healing quality in the back of the thighs. Bend the knees to travel. Exhale to lift, really nicely done. Inhale, full length. Exhale, open up. I'm going to come down onto the floor. So bend your knees, come down. Hang out to let the arms go. I'm going to ask you to come onto your knees so it looks like this, okay? If you've got your towel, grab your towel. Your hand weights are close. So your towel will go under your knees if you need it. Not everybody does, but we might. And all I'm going to do is spread my hands and lift my hands 
So I'm almost lifting my T-shirt, but what I'm really looking for is your elbows to push out to the side. That's it. And your shoulder blades to squeeze. It'll make more sense when we add weights. And then bend or tip back and climb forward. Tip back and climb forward. So just test the water. See how that feels. Are your knees okay? Do you need more padding under your knees? And then the next exercise we're going to do is one arm lift. So the fingers line up with shoulder. Okay, no, no, not too high, good. And then the other hand starts to go behind and your body stays still in the first instance because you're recruiting abdominal muscles, and then lean back. And when I say lean back, I'm just bringing my bum towards my heel. Bum towards my heel. I don't know if you can see my feet, but my toes are on the floor and relaxed. If you wanted, you could curl the toes under. I just don't have that flexibility. Good. Happy with that? If you are, have some water, pick up your hand weights. <laughs> so, make sure your knees are comfy, get your um, towel under your knees or something like that. I'll turn space on. Elbows to the side, makes more sense now, doesn't it? And the hand just under the, the rib cage or the, the bra strap or the heart rate monitor, that's it. But the emphasis is on your shoulder blades. Squeeze your shoulder blades down and back. It's an upright row. And then lean, bum and release. Bum to heels, bum and release. So I'm looking forward, eye gaze on my horizon and I can feel the work in my thighs, as well as that pressure I'm putting on my shoulder blades. I'm going to do four more. So I'm slowing down, using my breath. Three more. Two more. And one. Add straight into the next exercise. Up on your knees, one arm lift, palm down. Lower, just test the water first of all. Align the arm in line with the shoulder, happy, add in the next level. And the next level is one arm forward, one arm back. Keep the body still. Your body will try and shift. You'll try and rotate or turn to the right or the left. And I'm asking that you stabilize. You stabilize your middle of your body, your core, as you do this. Good, by keeping your tummy muscles tight, keeping your eye gaze still. Then add in, last level, bum to heels or towards, climb up, other side, climb up. Four more, bum to heels, climb up, bum to heels, good. Three more, other side. Keep an eye on that hand, that's really good. Arm in line with shoulder, other side. Last two. And one last one. Yes, good work. Okay, let's give those knees a rest. Hand weights down. Oh, I like a little knee massage, but not everybody does. Just circle round. So the knees press into the floor and then go round the other way. It's a really small circle. We're just investigating. And now just take the time to recover. So it could be the pose of a child or if you just want the pressure off your knees, you might want to come forward into a forward fold, a seated forward fold, and maybe give your massage, your knees a bit of a massage. So.